In case you didn't know, Nancy's a, a, big ballet, a, a big ballet fan, studied herself just a little bit, and uh, the other day she got a very special thrill. She met one of the greatest male dancers in the world, Rudolf Nureyev, and uh, they were able to talk at his hotel suite in New York. But before that, uh, let's see him in action. He's dancing here uh, from Don Quixote, a uh, ballet he often performed. Oh, boy. Mm. We think here in the United States that the ballet has, within the last like five years, ten years, become more and more popular, more and more people are going from all walks of life, and I'm attributing that to you. <laughs> How does Thank that make you, you feel? Much. Well, very, very good, very well. I mean, you came here and brought a whole, you really a whole new excitement and passion and thrill for the audiences, and it, you are here a superstar. Do you think of yourself as a superstar? Well, no, I feel of myself as a dancer first and last you just happen to become the star of what you call the americans like superstars don't they do you think they're good opportunities for dancers and uh, companies here in the united states fantastic fantastic opportunities if you think amount of companies you have uh, just in new york uh, there are three classical ballet companies like uh, city ballet uh, ballet theater and joffrey ballet mm -hmm. Uh, plus, you have uh, modern companies like uh, uh, Merce Cunningham, Martha Graham, uh, Mary Lewis, Paul Taylor, uh, Jose Limon Company, and many other companies which uh, come and go. And there is uh, always uh, incredible dance activity going. You've New danced York. with many of these companies. Are there others that you still would like to work with and be with? <laughs> oh, sure. There is uh, a lot of things to learn. And you always want to keep learning? Yeah. <laughs> I want to find out a little bit about your daily routine. I mean, you really work hard. What, what, what would be a typical day for you? Well, uh, it's a great boy, I suppose. Uh, well, you get up about 10 o'clock and go to class at 11. And then you rehearse till, till about 3. Uh, come back home, have a quick lunch and uh, go to bed and wake up and go back, back to the to theater. Play. Back to the theater, make up, uh, warm up, performance. Do you need much sleep? I mean, are you... Well, that sleep in afternoon, uh, which is the most important, uh, which uh, uh, does recover you from whatever mm -hmm. uh, you have missed during the night. Because uh, after all the excitement uh, of the performing, uh, it's difficult to sleep uh, in a profound way. The Sleeping Beauty that you're doing, and you are not only dancing in it, but aren't you, to what extent are you responsible for the whole production? Uh, well, um, I would like to claim all of it, but I can't. Uh, you have to work with designer, um, agree, disagree, uh, give him idea, or whatever. Just, I was very lucky to work with Mr. George Harris, and he did uh, practically all, all of my productions. Uh, he worked with me on Swan Lake, on uh, Nutcracker, on Raimonda. Why do you work so uh, hard? Well, it is exciting. I mean, that's what I love doing, dancing, and uh, sometimes there's no other way to do. Do you ever want to do anything else but dance? Oh, well, of course, everybody can uh, dream of this or that. Uh, but I, yes, I do. I will do something else. Uh, I'm going to do Roma and Juliet. Uh, it is uh, well, going to be as uh, original as, uh, as possible. Well, uh, basically, I do those productions mm -hmm. uh, as a vehicle for myself. What sort of things do you like to do when you don't have to rehearse or perform, when you're just alone, hopefully relaxing? Well, I like to go to the theater. I, lo I love theater. And, uh, you like our musicals? So, yes. Well, I like music. I mean, you have to like the music. <laughs> That's the main part of your theater here. 
musicals, no? uh, but uh, things which happen off off Broadway and, uh, and in the, what you call that, uh, Brooklyn Academy of Music, oh, yes. no, things. Uh, been doing quite fun. Yes. Do you like, like uh, movies too? Movies very much, very much, and so good here that you can go after performance to see them. Are you your own worst critic? Do you think? Uh, well, sure. I mean, if by now, if, if I don't know what dance is supposed to be, I mean, it's kind of to date, no? True. I mean, do you ever, after performance, do you ever get mad or depressed? Oh, sure. Or? Sure. I want to thank you very much for talking with us and being here. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor. Thank you. Well, yes, you enjoyed that, didn't you? Oh, yes. I mean, that's one of the first interviews I've done where I really was kind of... In, in awe, awe of really? him, he, but he was so sweet, he's so modest about what he does. Does he have to be careful about what he says anymore? I don't know. Don't know? I really don't know. He's appearing right now, by the way, uh, oh, yes. with the National Ballet of Canada uh, here in New York uh, through the 8th of August. The Metropolitan. The Metropolitan Opera. Oh. It's astounding. It's I mean, he, his, his manner is so easy, and then you see him perform, and it's... I mean, there's just yeah, no one well, like him. it's like Eddie Valella. I mean, here is Eddie, one of the great athletes in the world, and there's no doubt so is Mr. Nureyev. Thank you, Nancy. That's gorgeous. It's a pleasure. We'll be back. Hey, everybody. I'm Susie Peveroff at Lincoln Center in New York City, where this evening 